Hey, what's going on YouTube? Web City RC here. Bringing something a little bit different to you guys today. Got us a 100% 3D printed RC fan boat. We're sitting at about 16 inches long and I think about 11 inches wide. Just have the main hull, radio box, fan housing, directional blades. I still got the, the we printed a fan, the propeller, but it looked a little sketch. So I'm probably just gonna order me a five inch propeller off of a generic website, who knows. Um, I'm gonna try to see what the uh, Prevolt Aero Trooper blade is, what size it is. Anyway, um, I don't know if I'm gonna I think I'm kind of going to keep the colors the way it is. Um, my, my old man just kind of threw in some different colored filament. And I think it looks kind of cool. It's random and the colors, for whatever reason, just look good together. Um, but I guess the filament is relatively easy to paint. But it's got the uh, radio box. This comes open and it's got the screws there. And then these screws here that hold the radio box on and it's multi-positional and then you've got your three screws here that hold this trim piece on and I still have to glue the, the uh, hole together in these two spots here these are just as a three section thing and this has got a pretty good lip on it as you can see I'm still trying to sort out how I want to do the bottom I'm probably going to use E6000 to get it all together but um, the bottom is a little rough um, but I think I'm going to go with my uh, dad's suggestion and do the old um, Bondo and and then paint it and clear coat it and sand it and then paint it again. Make it slick and then I can actually like put some turtle wax on it and wax it. But you've got the linkages here for the um, fans and then I'll just put a, a uh, T on a micro servo and that's what this little box is here. It's for a micro servo. And then you got your things here for your linkages, and then you can, once you get your T on your servo, you can move it oppositionally from the push pull. So, and I think that's just a matter of getting in, bending some piano wire. And this is all just stuck together. I still have to get all the hardware for assembly. You can see all the holes. And you got a motor mount there, and then you got a couple different motor mount options, and then some uh, other T's and ties depending on how your motor is. It looks like you've got several different here, you've got different motor mount options. So I think I'm just going to go with the suggested motor mount or with the mo motor and propeller. And the, there were some specs that were with this 3D print file. I'm not sure where it came from or like as far as credit for the file um, I'm not sure I'd have to get some paperwork to be positive but anyway I just kind of wanted to show you guys the beginning of a project so this is all the pieces that are printed I'm just gonna have to go through the parts list that it recommends and get the motor and the uh, propeller and then we'll see what ESC and of course the receiver is pretty universal I just grabs and kind of spectrum whatnot i've got several radio systems i can use around the house so we're just going to grab one of those and throw it in there something secondary to my primary radio that way i can use it for a rescue boat we're just going to throw a piece of foam right across the front of here with a little bit of a setup it's like here and here just to help you know push them off but this was mainly printed with a, with a rescue rig in mind i wanted to use the uh aero boat but man they're they're kind of expensive for just a rescue boat and I'm way too cheap to buy one of the tugboats. So dad printed me up this boat. So we're gonna use this to try to see if we can use this just as a purpose built rescue boat. So we'll kind of see what else we need. And anyway, this is just kind of the rough start. This is the first time I'll try to build from scratch process. So uh, I'll just kind of keep you guys in, in the loop and try to take video as I go. Yeah, he did print me some really cool little I kind of see things and see the pretty the 3D files and tell the old man what I want and he kind of prints me out everything I'm kind of looking at but there's just some really cool little propane tanks he made me that are going on the uh, 
expedition trailer. I'm going to make me a mount and then put me a couple of them like here and here. So it'll look like that when it's all done ski. I'm just going to get me a piece of Lexan and cut me a mount for that and get it all squared away and then I'll put my tanks on. And This tank I'll probably get Throw in the back of my uh, my tailgate and my six by six, my TRX six, and put that one in the back with all the rest of the goodies. Anyway, guys, I'm getting long-winded. Um, drop me a comment. See if you want me to paint. Don't paint. Leave it the way it is. This is just the color that we're printed as far as the uh, colors Dad chose to print. I think it looks kind of cool, but. You guys drop a comment, see if you want me to paint this or that, see what the, you think would maybe look better. I think it looks kind of cool, random, something different. You know it's custom because nobody else has anything like it. I kind of like it. I'm kind of, I'm on the fence on the pink, I don't know. I'm thinking about taking the, all the pink stuff and maybe that gray fin and painting it all I can't decide. I'm kind of thinking about maybe going with a maybe a fluorescent pink or maybe like a day glow yellow. Another drop a comment thing. If you guys think you want me to maybe paint this color or that, see what your opinion is. Maybe go red or purple. See if I can get close to matching that. That might be kind of hard to do. But anyway, we will uh, catch you guys later. Uh, this particular edition of the uh, episode one of Project 3D Print Swamp Boat Rescue Vehicle whatever you want to call it. When I get some more parts and get some more progress I will drop another video and come back at you guys. And just a side note, went out to the lake today and hit the old Sonic Wake and the Zonda. Got 73 out of the Zonda and 59 out of the old Sonic Wake. I know that if I did some tuning on both, I could get a little faster. My Zonda was running really, really wet. So I know I could do some adjustments there and get a, a little more hull out of the water and get, some, get those speeds up. My Sonic Wake is, I think, a propeller. So I've got it pretty well trimmed out the way I like it with the battery weight and the uh, trim tabs. It turns great, so I know I got my fins in the right position. I'm creating very little drag with those. So I'm just going to maybe get with old uh, Chris over at Dasboda and see if he can get me a, a supersonic propeller. I had a Sonic 2 and hit a log and jacked it up. $50 down the drain. But hey, that's what it is. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you later. Hub City RC is getting out of here. Stay blessed, stay safe, and you guys take care. We'll see you soon.